All right, welcome to a wonderful world of Waikato Sheds. We've got another special one for you today. Bronick, how are you, my friend? Very good, thanks, Jess. We've got Bronick on site because we've got a fantastic habitable shed underway <laughs> here in Te Araha. Bronick's worked with the client to design this one, get it engineered through council. Tom and the boys are in the background, they're building it. So he's going to walk us through and talk about what's happening here. Should we go and check out this shed? Yep. All right, we're here on the sunny side of the shed. Bronick, what's the size of this beautiful thing we're looking at? Well, because I do so many, I don't remember them all, so I pulled out a bit of paper. 14 metres wide by 25 metres long. Whoa, 14 by 25, what's Huge. that? Huge. That is 350 squares. So that's it. We're always down for a little bit of maths chat yep. here on Waikato Sheds. And how tall are these walls we got here, Bronick? They are four metres at this end and five metres at the other end. Awesome. So very tall. And so this is going to be a full habitable shed. Yep. So the first three bays habitable, then two bays are going to be a huge garage workshop. When you're working with the client, what are we doing in here? I noticed that it doesn't have steel house framing internally. So the client wanted to do wooden framing inside. His father's a builder and said that they'd be able to get it all for a really good price. So he decided to do it that way, which is fantastic. We can still move, move and shake whichever way you, you want to go. I sat down with the client and we went backwards and forwards with different designs and we came up with a beautiful 210 square meter living area, three bedrooms and 120 square meters of shed so he can park his big toys in. That's awesome. And we worked with New Vision, so was it yes. Dave on that? Dave with New Vision and then we had NCE, Dylan and the boys uh, who did all the engineering on this and they've done a fantastic job. Shout out guys, got it all through council, that's it. And we yep. worked with Titus for the slab here? I believe we did, but I would have to go back and check. Well, either way, we love Titus, Tony, you guys do a great job, so shout out to you guys. All right, now this joinery looks fantastic. So obviously Scott, Pete, the team, Kate from City Glass have delivered all of that for us. So we're looking at beautiful double glazed joinery in here. Yep. Why don't we come inside and have a look through it into here? So when we do these portal frame sheds, with a timber framing on the inside. And shout out to Glenn Armstrong, him and his building team are coming in afterwards. There's already a whole lot of framing on site for it, so they're gonna be doing the fit out. We're really excited to see how they finish it all off. Definitely. I might have already said it, but Tom and the boys have done a great job on the outside of this job and the external frame, and then they'll hand it over. So we'll definitely be back to it. But City Glass have done it, and you can see the depth of the liners here. So the cool thing about this is they're going to be able to fill these walls full of insulation. So this is going to be so warm, it's so cosy as a house and that as well. Nice and quiet out here because we're in the country. All right, so when we're working with the joinery, you're a joinery man. What are we looking at here, Bronick? Okay, well, what we've got is we've got a stack of door here. So it's one door slides back and then another one over the top. Um, we've got what we call a, a sill tab down the bottom here. And this is solely so the flooring can go over the top and be close to flush with the um, floor, um, with the joinery. And then we've got some liners on the side here. That's so the jib can go up to it after the insulation and then architrave around. Beautiful doors, beautifully done by City Glass. I like how they've done the different colour here. So what are we looking at for the colour on the outside here? It's a grey, what sort of grey? Thunder grey? Thunder grey for the outside. And That's then we've a, got our ebony for, ebony for the um, joinery. Yeah, it mm. looks super sharp. Cheers to our mates, Metalcraft. They did all the roll forming and all the steel. This is solid New Zealand steel. Look at the strength of this. This is awesome. That's how you create a 14 meter span. And there, Thermacraft wrapping the walls, Watergate Plus for the walls. It keeps it nice, warm and dry. And how can I forget our mates connect fastening. So all the bolts all throughout it, all these screws, we order them by the tens of thousands. So Brendan looks after us from Connect Fastenings. All right, we're really excited. The roller doors are going to be coming in soon, so they're going to be garret doors. And then, I believe there's a sectional door going in there, is There it? is. There's going to be a little sectional door in the middle, so that will be for his car. And then we've got the big one that's going to be for a tractor or, or a boat or, or whatever he wants oh, for his toys. This um, is awesome. This place is fantastic. I can't wait to see when it's finished. It's been same. great. Young Sean and I were here the other day when it was nice and windy and the frames were just going up. So yeah, it's great to come back, see what's happening here. I can't wait to come back and it's see exciting. it some more. Awesome. 
All right, thanks for watching guys. Feel free, give us a like if you like this, share any questions and we'll make sure to answer and get back to you. But otherwise, have a great time and we'll catch you next time.